high levels of poverty, unemployment, stigma and discrimination, gender-based violence, sexual harassment, early marriages and pregnancies, drug abuse, leadership and governance. These are some of the pressing issues affecting our communities. Raise your voice and speak up because you are the solution. And by working together, we can create locally driven solutions that can transform our society and the world. Be a voice of change today. Impact Show, the voice of change. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is indeed another exciting and yet interesting segment on the Impact Show. And yet today it is another interesting day for you to learn something, to get something. i uh, being joined by someone who is uh, doing a lot. Uh, per se, uh, Mr. Jeremiah, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I am super excited and humbled to be on the Impact Show. Yeah, I must say it's, it's a pleasure having you. Yeah, so for startups, for those who don't know who Mr. Jeremiah is, as per tradition, who is Jeremiah? I like how he says Mr. Jeremiah. <laughs> I like to go by Jeremiah. Okay. So my name is Lubumbe Jeremiah Mulanda. Um, I actually have another name that people don't know apart from my family members and I wish say it at the end of the show. Oh, wow. Well, yes, so it's a surprise. Yes. <laughs> so I'm sure people will be waiting at the end of the show. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do? So Lubumbe or Jeremiah is um, firstly a student okay. at the University of Lusaka. He is uh, currently pursuing his um, Bachelor of Science in Development Studies. Uh -huh. Lubumbe is a youth advocate. He likes to speak about issues that are affecting young people in particular. He's very, very passionate about those issues. And as the show goes on, uh -huh. you will get to know who Lubumbe or Jeremiah really is. Okay, yeah, for startups, and uh, I like the way you brought it, like mm. you, you are much interested also in the youth. Mm. So for one who is watching you, mm. and probably who is interested in what you, who is interested Mm -hmm. in what you do per se, uh, who inspires you? So, who really inspires me? Um, my greatest inspiration comes from Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. May he so rest in peace. What I like about Martin Luther King was how eloquent he was. Yeah. You know, as young people, we always have the tendency to not want to speak about the issues that are affecting us, not That's having the ability to challenge the status quo. Mm -hmm. But if you look at Martin Luther King and his time, yeah. he had the courage to stand up in front of people and say, wrong is wrong, yeah. and right is right, and that is what I strive to do. Always I want to be there to speak. When I see that something is not going right, I feel that it is my responsibility to say something. So indeed, my greatest inspiration is Martin Luther King, but of course there are other people who I'm privileged to be found around who okay. also um, you know, inspire me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's, that's so much interest. Mm. Then I would love to ask you a question. Yeah, since you are inspired by Martin Luther King, uh, what have you done through that inspiration? Beautiful. That's a very good question. I would like to believe that I have done a lot. Um, maybe just a bit of background. So yeah. how I found myself in this advocacy space was somewhere around 2015, November, December. Um, a friend of mine actually approached me. Okay. Um, I work with a number of organizations. Okay, yeah, so for startups, maybe they're just hearing advocates, advocates. Mm -hmm. What do you advocate for? So what I basically advocate for is youth engagement or meaningful youth engagement. Now, yeah. meaningful youth engagement is a broad component. So under meaningful youth engagement, there's meaningful youth engagement in the health space, in the governance space, in the climate change space. So in different spaces where I'm founded, I speak about involving young people in a meaningful way. Okay. Any type of space, it can be in the participation space, it can be in the gender equality space. Any space that I'm founding, I'm always advocating that young people have the right, have the power to influence the decision-making process. Okay, th that's wonderful. Yeah, since you're advocating for young people, what ways and means are you using uh, to reach out to young people? Um, definitely. I'll answer that question twofold. Um, mm -hmm. Because firstly, what I want the young people to realize is that in our community, there are people who hold power, True. right? There are people who make decisions uh, for us, mm -hmm. primarily. Uh, and there's a famous saying that says, you will never be in a decision when they're making, you will never be in a room when they're making decisions about your life, true. which is true. But what I try to do is to be a part of those conversations. Mm -hmm. So firstly, I sit on three boards of different organizations. I'm the only youth representative on those boards. Mm -hmm. So what I do is bring the youth perspective in picture. Mm -hmm. 
you know whenever they are talking about these issues i want to make sure that the voice of the young people is very evident in those spaces and of course my work has helped me travel the world has helped me travel the country so every time when i'm speaking to young people be it in southern province mm -hmm. or the copper belt in central in rapula where i come from yeah. i am always encouraging them to take up the challenge true look guys it is about time that we came to the party. Mm -hmm. What I mean by this is that I'm not comfortable with young people who just remain idle and say Boma Ilanganepo or just fold their hands that there's no job. What are you doing in your individual capacity? Yeah. What are you doing to build yourself? Mm -hmm. You know, so this is what I try to do. And of course using different platforms as well. I'm invited on different uh, radio shows, radio programs. Currently I have a, a program that I'm running with the Zambia Media platform called The Real Talk. You guys should check it out. Mm -hmm. Also in such spaces I'm communicating what I know through different organizations to the young people. Okay, well, that's so nice. Okay, so upon addressing, uh, you know, you've said young people, they depend much on the government, which is BOMA. Mm. Uh, so what do you think uh, some of the problems mm. that young people are facing out there? Beautiful. And how I'm going to answer this is, let's even forget about everyone for a second. Yeah. Let's focus on us, the young people. Mm. You know, the perception amongst young people is like, if you see a, a young person like Jeremiah, who's probably fluent, eloquent, who knows what he's talking about. As young people, we think of ourselves as threats. True. So you won't take advantage to learn from me. You think, ah, Jam guys, neither you know he boasts and he does also all sorts of things, yeah. and that is a problem because you won't learn anything from me because you look at me as a threat. That's what I strive to do every time I speak to young people, every time I hear young people is speak is look at them as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. What does my friend bring to the party? Yeah. A, B, C, D. What can I learn from them? And it is only when you have that mentality then you can prosper. Another problem is that there's too much dependency on external forces. We do not want to build ourselves. I always tell people that people will pay where there's value. So what value do you have to yourself? I'm able to speak like this because I want to believe that at this particular point, I have added value to myself. But you look at young people are sitting in their homes, hands folded, not adding value to yourself. I'll give you a very good example. We're living in a technological era. One single YouTube video can teach you things you've never known your whole life. True. Why aren't we using such platforms? We are using social media for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. You know, let us begin to build ourselves. I'll also give you another example. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of free courses on the internet which will agree with me. That's the truth. This is why we need to take up this space. We need to be able to build ourselves into different brands. You know, you need to keep adding value and value. So the first problem is that we look at ourselves as threats. Mm -hmm. We don't want to work together. Yeah. The second one is that we do not build ourselves. We do not create ourselves into, you know, this reliable brand. And we are always pointing fingers at other people. Mm -hmm. It's that one, it's this, it's that. Yeah. Look at what is within you. True. What can you do in your individual capacity? Mm -hmm. Then also, we have gotten comfortable with not thinking outside the box yeah. there's no innovation mm -hmm. there's no creativity True. and a young person should be very creative very innovative because you're in the prime of your years you know you can think much faster than the adults so we need to also have that creativity that innovation being evident in the works that we do and another very important thing that is overlooked is you know the lack of confidence yeah. You know, a young person is supposed to be confident. True. You need to speak with confidence and passion, with conviction that you love the work, but you find that young people are only driven by the money. resource, yeah. the money. Guys, don't misquote me. The money is very, very important. True. It's good. But remember I said, people only pay for value. So if you don't have value, they won't pay you. So focus on building yourself first, build yourself as a brand, build yourself as an individual. And then when you do that, the money will come. I'll give you a very good example. Four, five, six years ago, I wasn't like this. Yeah. And people never used to pay me what they are paying me today because for a simple reason, I didn't have that value. But because I have the value today when an organization invites me to speak, you know, they will give me a nice fat check. Why? Because I have added value to myself. Yeah. I always tell young people this, add value to yourself and the money will follow you. But if you go vice versa and you want the money to follow the value, it never works like yeah, that. Yeah, it never works. Yes. Okay. So those are some of the problems that are really happening and these are problems that are internally learned yeah. and the solutions should come from within so I feel like young people need to come to the party mm -hmm. we need to rise to the challenge sure. yes okay yeah so so it's so, so interesting a lot of issues have come out mm -hmm. and these are so cardinal issues yes. 
Yeah, and uh, having addressed the, the problem that young people have, mm. what do you think are some of the solutions? Mm. That, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. First and foremost, mm -hmm. build yourself. Build yourself as a brand. Mm -hmm. What are you known for? Guaranteed that today if you asked who Jeremiah is, mm -hmm. I am known for something. And people will say, oh Jeremiah the speaker, oh Jeremiah the host of the Real Talk Live show, oh Jeremiah the student, oh Jeremiah the advocate, you know. Mm -hmm. I am known for something, True. but as young, but, but as a young person, if you are not known for something, how will people identify you? Yeah. How will opportunities follow you? So build your brand, add value to yourself. Mm -hmm. How you add value is by exposing yourself, by reading, by watching videos. You can do a lot of things by going to uni. Very, very important as well. Add value to yourself. The second is, and I always have this famous saying, uh -huh. I say passion drives purpose. True. We all have a purpose in life. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that you may never find your purpose because you are not passionate. Yeah. You see? So young people need to be passionate. Because it is only when you are passionate that you will realize your purpose. So build that passion. You build that passion when you do the first step. When you build yourself as a brand, you know, you start realizing that, okay, I think I'm passionate about this. I'm able to speak with a lot of conviction about this. Yeah. That is very, very important. The third, you need to network. Mm -hmm. Networking colleagues is not just getting people's numbers, saying, no, I have this number, I have that number, I have that email address and that. Yeah. What are you doing with that phone number? What are you doing with that email address? At the end of the day, yeah. we need to network. We need to network amongst young people. We need to network amongst the adults as well. Very, very key. Another very important solution is we need to come together. That's we need to present a united front as young people. Mm -hmm. We need to come together. We need to be creative together. We need to innovate together because it is only when we do that that we'll be able to grow. We also need to take advantage of uh, advantage of opportunities like for example the CDF. Mm -hmm. Let us come together as young people and you know create a business idea. Yeah. Go to government apply and let them give us money. You know so those are some of the things that we need to do. And trust me, my friends, if we do these practical steps. Mm -hmm. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Very true. Okay, yeah, having talked about a lot of things, and I'm sure I'm also learning by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because people might think me being on the show, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. everything is planned. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah. I'm also learning, and it is interesting, and I'm sure mm. people out there are also learning. Yeah. So, uh, the, the, the other question is. Oh, what what do you think is the uh, statistics mm. of young people mm. participating in leadership? Of course, I could I couldn't have the actual number. I, I can't say the actual number, uh -huh. but we are very few. Okay. And what I'm telling the young people out there is that there's space up there for all of us. There's no need for competition yeah. because I'll give you an example. I mentioned that I sit on three boards. I'm the only young person representing the voices of young people on those boards we need more young people to come to the party this is the message that i'm here to declare we need more young people to come to the party there's space up there for young people but there's only space for young people who add value to themselves because look sitting with adults who are professors who are doctors who have yeah. masters who have degrees you need to have some type of knowledge as well because you won't just sit there. Mm -hmm. These people want you to come with solutions, to mm -hmm. come with ideas, to come with initiatives and programs. But you can only do that if and only you add value to yourself. So the space in this advocacy world is there and we need more young people. But the core is that we need to add value to ourselves. And I've had a number of occasions where, you know, organizations have reached out to me and said, look, Jeremiah, we need maybe it's 10 young people mm -hmm. and then I have to go you know searching tooth and nails to look for young people that doesn't need to happen yeah. we need to be a phone call always saying bro I can do this mm -hmm. bro I can do this oh it's governance let me go no it's this let me go so that is what we need to do guys there's no need to fight the space is available and I am happy and open to be able to share what I know with different young people so that we can you know all build together mm -hmm. Yeah, so now, Mr. Jeremiah, just in a nutshell, mm -hmm. I know this is so interesting. We can talk all day mm -hmm. and, and, you know, come up with brilliant stuff and all that. Yeah. Uh, what are your words to some of the young people out there, mm -hmm. especially maybe some people who have completed their colleges, university studies for years and mm -hmm. they are there at home, they are saying, no, mm -hmm. me, I can't find a job, mm -hmm. I can't impact. Mm -hmm. What are your words to them? My words are this, and I'm going to tell this using my story. Mm -hmm. um, I started working with uh, organizations, NGOs of the civil society in around 2015. Mm -hmm. I only got my first paycheck mm -hmm. at around 2017 November. I had worked roughly two to three years without mm -hmm. getting paid. Oh. 
what I didn't realize at this particular point, and I'm going to be very honest, is yes, I was working, I was very excited because I was in this space, but I was getting knowledge, mm. I was getting exposure, I was getting expertise, and that has helped shape who I am today. So, my word of caution, advice to the young people who are listening is that add value, yeah. expose yourself experience the world be knowledgeable read you know interact with people who are going to build you it also comes to and shout out to my friends who are watching this video yeah. it also comes to having the right people around you yeah they say if you are around 10 if you are around nine fools mm -hmm. you are the 10th fool <laughs> if you are around nine wise men you are the 10th wise men so there's a lot of power in who you keep around in you your yeah. inner circle so find the right friends guys it's not just about picking friends like picking anyhow pick friends who are going to build you who are yeah. doing something already and that is very very important my word of caution guys is that let us work with passion uh -huh. because remember passion Feels purpose true passion ultimately helps you realize your purpose and I know that every young person out there wants to realize their passion so don't be money driven remember I'm also saying money is very important but it should never be your first priority your first priority should be one helping yourself helping others being knowledgeable helping impact mm -hmm. the community and then the money will follow wonderful there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, just in case, Mr. Jeremiah, any last words to the viewers, to the people out there who are watching this show? And I'm going to look straight in the camera for this uh -huh. one. So to, to the viewers who are watching this video, uh -huh. especially my young people, we need to create impact. Yeah. How do we create impact? We need to add value to ourselves. We need to rise to the party. We need to be confident. We need to be passionate. If we do this, Zambia is going to prosper. Let us create impact together. And crack the code. <laughs> and crack the code. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So, I promised that I was going to say yes, my, 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 my other, name. Your other name. So my other name is Jensen. Um, it comes from a very, very far place. It's, wow. it's, it's a name that holds a lot of significance. Okay. I don't really use it, but I like it. And Jensen. I, Jensen. Okay. So you can also call me Jensen when you, when you see me around. But thank you very much for hosting me on the Impact Show. I hope that the young people out there have benefited one or two things. This is a conversation that we need to keep on having as young people. That's you know, it is that time when we need to rise to the challenge. And you guys are doing great things. Big ups to you as well. Yeah, otherwise, no, thank you very much. And uh, I must say, thank you for coming. Too. Yes. Yeah, you know, without you, the show would not have taken place. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. I couldn't have yes. seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I can't talk. Yes. Yeah, but at least together, mm. uh, things can work out. Beautiful. Yeah, so with that being said, uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it has been uh, the most, uh, I think, interesting moment. Yeah, for me, at least I've learned something, and I'm sure you've uh, uh, gotten something as well. Well, for me, to you viewers, it's goodbye, and see you next time. High levels of poverty, unemployment, stigma and discrimination, gender-based violence, sexual harassment, early marriages and pregnancies, drug abuse, leadership and governance. These are some of the pressing issues affecting our communities. Raise your voice and speak up because you are the solution. And by working together, we can create locally driven solutions that can transform our society and the world. Be a voice of change today. Impact Show. The Voice of change.